Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Art Alien TV. Now today I've got a really interesting thing to show you, or area to show you, on Mars. And it's a place called Kings Valley, okay? And this, to me, looks like a city, or partially buried city. And it's not one of my finds. This was spotted by Greg Orm. Greg Orm, I should say, with, a, with an M. Greg Orm. And was posted on... Mars X Files a couple of days ago. I often post stuff on here and I help um, adjudicate this site and loads of other Mars sites. Obviously, I, I probably help manage about 10 or 15, I think now, maybe even 20. I've lost count. Um, a, good, a good one, this. Very similar to Mars Magazine. And uh, this is Greg's post. And what he's found here, to me, looks like a city just here. And you can flick through these. There'll be a link to this original post in the description, the Facebook post here. And what I've done also is I've um, I've linked to it in these gigapans that I've done. These got some nice clips here showing some of these details. But what I've done is I've got the original MRO images from NASA. And here's the page. Now there's two of these. Um, if you click on this, you can get the stereo pair there's two of them. There's uh, one which is the left camera, one is the right camera. Okay, so there's a kind of stereo pair looking at this whole area, and what you can do is flick between them. Now, what I've done, I've got a rule one here. Now, this is six four seven eight one. This is rule as it comes from NASA. This is the MRGB. Okay, and merged red, green, and blue. That means, and what we have here is a strip of colour in the middle and the rest of it's black and white, okay? But I've also got the red version, which is kind of like monochrome, but this doesn't have the color strip, so you can see the whole thing here. And what I've done, I've enhanced this, and I've cranked up the contrast by about 100%, as it says here, 100% contrast. So what it does, it brings out the shapes, and you can see the details on the ground better and clearer, because it brings out more definition in the shadows and shapes on the grain, okay? Now first, we'll take a look at this one. Now this is unenhanced, this is as it comes from NASA. And in fact, this is pretty good already. Um, you can see a lot of detail here. And if you use the hover zoom magnifier, you can see here that there are what seem to be roads and raised walls and lots of interesting details in here, right? And when you look at the whole thing, this goes over a massive area. I, mean, I think this represents about five kilometers in width, this actual image. Um, yeah, it, it, I think it does represent exactly five kilometers. And this part of this, what I think is a city here, covers most of it, this part here. And it probably goes further over to the right, but the image doesn't go that far. About four kilometers across from this mound here, across to this thing here, and then right across here to the edge of the image here, okay? Now, this is insane, and it's almost impossible for me to know where to start with this, because there's so much to see. But what I'll do, we'll, we'll have a look at this one, which is the enhanced version, the red one. Now, this is a stereo pair with that previous one, so you can actually see, if you line them up, I've marked this area here, if you line them up, you can actually line them up on here, although one will actually go in a bit closer. Let's go back a little bit with this one. You can actually line them up like this and see the difference in the shapes because this is taken from a left and right camera, okay? So that's really cool. Um, but the, because this one's darker, you can see a bit more of the detail in some areas, but this one with certain things is better, like this part here you can really see these perfect right angles and, and shapes in here. In some of these areas, there's some amazing detail. And I cannot come to any conclusion other than this is a buried city. Now, what I have done is I put the full article on here that was written by Greg, Greg Orham, Kings Valley on Mars, why we must go. And you can read all this. So I'm not, I'm not gonna read all this now, but what I will do is I'll take a clip of this for you and put it in the video so you can read it later um, at your own speed, okay? And, and you can just pause the video, 
at near the end with all the images. I'll put this. You can just pause it and read it yourself. Okay, or you can come on here and read it. So follow the links below to this, uh, these gigapans, okay? They'll be near the top of the description. And there's also this one. I've got another one here, um, which is a negative. These look like roads. And inside these areas, we have what look like buried structures, like we have here. And um, we've got all these sort of angular and rectangular sort of dark shadows in the ground, which I think are actual buildings, like here. Okay, there's a couple there. There's another one here. And a lot of them are rectangular, not all of them. There's loads of them. And what you can do is you can flick between the negative, the enhanced and the raw version of this area and compare them back to back. And you can sort of really work out what you're looking at a lot more by flicking between them. And uh, it's insane. And it goes right over here. We've got some amazing stuff and we've got these long roads one of them goes right off into the distance here and you can what you could do is start on the road like this one where this junction is we've got a t-junction here and what looks like a little roundabout just there see that kind of circular area so we've got a junction now that doesn't look like a normal feature and you can follow these along I think right let's follow this one and see where it takes us this road, and we come to another sort of junction here, and it comes up here. Let's zoom out, and then we've got this, which looks like a big kind of structure here with internal rooms and structures. There's rectangular parts here. That you can do this without any area on this. What if you start at one corner and just follow one of the main roads, you will come to areas like this. It's absolutely insane. Let's have a look in there. You can see in here, there's a rectangular structure there with smaller rectangles and square walls and um, structures. Now, not all of them are square, right? But a lot of them are. The official explanation for this, there isn't really one. It just says polygons, okay? Well-preserved polygons. It doesn't tell you what caused them, why they're there. Now, you do get in some areas of Mars, of course, you get fissures in the ground, you get cracks, you get um, crystalline formations, which were formed by superheated magma cooling down and crystallizing and stuff like that um, during volcanic activity. You also get fissures in the ground from uh, plate tectonics and stuff like that, but these aren't. I really do not think these are. Um, these look like actual buildings and structures and roads and possibly even like a, like a river area here as well with a road going along the side of it like a, like a, a river. So a lot of these, I mean, in the colour you can see it as well pretty well, but it's a bit pasty in the colour. I actually prefer to look at it in this one because not only have I darkened it, but you can actually see better in black and white, I think. The colour doesn't actually help that much. But you can see all these structures inside these areas, right? Which have external walls. You can even see little bridges and stuff like that going over some of this. Now, a lot of these roads have got sand drifted over them. You've got these sand dunes coming over here, see? So it looks like it's broken up, but that's just where the sand has blown over and covered it. Just there, see? You've got these dunes. But when you start looking at it, you think, hang on a minute, how much of this is actually sand and how much of it is structures? You can actually see quite clearly inside these areas that there are rectangular and polygonal shaped buildings all over the place. But the clearest part really is this bit. This is the main part, I would say, because it's, it's the most well-defined. And the most obvious one, I think, is the one that near where I've marked it, just here. There's the marker. This one. I mean, this bit here. What is going on here? Absolutely insane. It's mental. Um, it's good detail. You can see well-defined shapes and roads and uh, streets and structures that are buried. There's a lot of sand drifted over some of these areas. 
But um, if, you, if you were to take clips of these and then just crank up the contrast even more, you'll be able to see the buried structures in between a lot more, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. I'll show you some clips of that in a minute. So we've got multiple rectangles, and in some of these little ones here, we've got loads of complex structures next to each other with sort of roads and walls going around them. These are actual streets, roads, and there's even, in some areas, you can see little bridges going over certain areas, and you can see little side roads coming off the main roads and then joining back to the other main road as well. And if you look at the, the same area in this one, in negative, you can really see some of these shapes hidden in the other ones. So you can see a lot more detail of the buried structures in between these roads. If you use the magnifier, you can really sort of look between them and see these angled structures here, okay? Now, I, like I said, I could go on and on and show you these for hours because there's so many to, to show. There's these here, which are more spread out, these areas here, by this sort of mountainous part. This is further to the, the west side. Uh, and up here is a really nice area here with some amazing detail on the west edge here. Let's look at it on this one. Let's look at the west edge, which is up here. There's some really nice defined shapes in here and some crazy stuff going on. Absolutely insane. Absolutely mental. You can see all these roads here, roads and ridges, and some of these may be even canals, I don't know, but it seems that some of the larger ones down the side here may have had water running through them, like rivers, and they had roads going along the side of the river, like a canal or something. Um, absolutely mental. Absolutely incredible detail. And you can see here where you've got little roads and junctions. And some of these go under and over each other, okay? So they're not just all on the same level. In certain areas, you can see where they seem to go under and over, like an, like an overpass or underpass. So you've got some incredible stuff going on there. And um, I'll, I'll put some clips of those in, in in a minute. I mean, it's a large area to search and uh, it, it's easy to get lost in here. So what I should have done is put more markers on here, but you can see incredible stuff in here. And um, a lot of it obviously is natural and a lot of it's filled in with sand from probably tens of thousands of years. If it's anything like the area in Jezero Crater, then it's many thousands of years old and, and it's buried. But um, the wind can just as easily blow sand away from structures as cover them up, so the sand can come and go. There are, I would say, probably tens of thousands of structures here in between these, uh, these roads, and some of them are really clear, and some of them aren't. And some of them are just mountainous parts like this. But then we have what look like these sort of ring roads, I mean, this is insane. We've got this almost kind of oval-shaped one here. And then we've got this straight one coming up here and all these sections to it. And in this one, we've got, this is the one where we've got all the um, rectangular inner parts here, which are all really angled. Now, I can't see how dunes would do that unless there are actual structures in the ground. Dunes form up against structures and you can see where the dunes have come across a lot of this and covered it up um, but in certain parts you can see the structures showing through the sand and um, if you look at the uh, this one here which is the negative you can see a lot of it even clearer okay so I can recommend this you can see that there's one here there's a structure and there's loads up here there's another long structure there it's there and there's like all sorts of things in the ground. There's all sorts of structures in the ground here. Unbelievable. Um, I'm still kind of a bit blown away by this actually because this is one of the best examples of this that we've seen, if not the best. Um, there are roads like this in Jezero Crater that I've shown before. 
but they look older and they're not as well defined. They're much more eroded and buried. Uh, this looks much more defined and much more detailed. And it's, uh, it's less buried in sand than the stuff we see in, in Jazeera Crater, which is probably a lot deeper down, which is why it's deeper in sand. So we've got some amazing stuff here, and you can see it in blue here. Where I turned it negative, this is on blue. And you might be able to see some of it better in here, some of the detail, because um, some people prefer blue. But, uh, I mean, I'll put some clips of this in, because I, I'm just giving you a, a, a quick overview of this, so that you can actually follow the links yourself and look at this yourself, because, I mean, this is just insane, the detail we've got in here. Now, I'm not saying all these are roads or all these are walls, but I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of it is. And um, bear in mind that a lot of the structures that I've shown so far on Mars are kind of dug into the ground as well. And uh, they were probably doing that to protect themselves from radiation later on anyway, as the, as the, uh, the climate changed on Mars. Um, but that would also give them protection from potential adversaries as well, either on Mars or from elsewhere. So there are advantages to living in the ground or in, in deep crater areas and uh, having sort of large walls around you and stuff like that, especially if, you, if, if your adversaries are likely to attack or, or do something to you. So I've shown many examples of bunker-shaped structures and a lot of these dunes that I've shown before, I'm not saying these are, but a lot of the uh, um, millipede dunes that I've shown before are actual plants and are growing along the ground like vines. And when you look at them up really close, you can actually see branches coming off, going into the ground and going over and under each other as well, intertwined in some areas. So they're not just simple dunes, a lot of these things. So When you see dunes on the ground, especially uh, millipede dunes, always take a really close look if you can, because often they're not. And some of the structures that I've shown in um, Gale Crater, in the south of Gale Crater, um, have shapes that look initially look like sand dunes, but when you zoom in, they're they're kind of square and rectangular, and there's sort of long bunker rows of bunkers all in a row. But, I mean, just look at the detail in here. It's absolutely insane. So, clips coming up in a minute. Thanks for watching, everybody. I could go on and on showing you all this, but basically, you really need to look at these gigapans yourself and zoom in and use the hover zoom magnifier and look at some of these details here. Okay? Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.